depending on processing across the stage is not appropriate. If, for personal reasons, you do not wish to shake hands as you cross the stage, please carry a copy of the graduation program that is on your chair with you as you process. When you are instructed to leave your seat and queue at the right-hand side of the stage, your name will be checked against a reading list. It is imperative that you are sat in the seat that has your name on it, rather than the seat that was assigned to you on your ticket. Sitting in a different seat will disrupt the proceedings. Above all, though, please do enjoy your graduation ceremony. And can you all please be upstanding for the academic procession? Thank you. President, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Commemoration Day 2017. Imperial College London's graduation ceremonies commemorate the visit in 1945 of their majesties, the late King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, to the college where they honoured our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner of Imperial. The governors of the college resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the president, the provost, the professors, the readers, the lecturers, and those in statuti pupillari, as an act of homage to our visitor the reigning sovereign. This event serves as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science, engineering and medicine and their application for the well-being of mankind. 
We meet today to recognize the outstanding achievements of undergraduate students of the college. In sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity in both culture and ideas, volunteering, and not least, in academia. In doing so, may we acknowledge that you not only have enormous potential to contribute towards the advancement of mankind, but that you also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before you. Your time as students in the Faculty of Natural Science was never solely for academia or achievement, but also to immerse yourselves in university life, developing as fulfilled, capable individuals, forging friendships that will last a lifetime, and tackling global challenges of ethics, philosophy, and society. In doing so, you have each made a unique contribution to the history of the faculty, an institution which started with the Royal College of Chemistry in 1845 and now includes the science graduates we award here today. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that subsequent graduates stand upon. In the words of King George on the college's first commemoration day, regard your knowledge and your skill always in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity, and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. So let us today remember all those who have served the college from its beginning, in council and in deeds, and particularly our founder, His Royal Highness Albert, the Prince Consort. Let us rededicate ourselves to seeking the truth, to the pursuit of natural knowledge, and to the application of this knowledge to the service of our fellow people in all parts of the world. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends, it is my honor as the president of Imperial College London to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2017. Graduates, congratulations. We are here to celebrate your accomplishments, applaud your many talents, and wish you well in all that awaits you in life. You have worked hard at your studies. You have also found time to excel outside the lecture halls and laboratories. You are musicians, dancers, actors, singers, and athletes. And you are volunteers who gave your most precious commodity, your time, to help others. We also want to recognize those whose support was essential during your time at Imperial. The academics sitting behind me and many others have shared their knowledge, sparked your curiosity, and broadened your horizons. They are dedicated researchers and educators, the best in their fields. They have challenged and inspired you. They have shown you the importance of high standards in all that you do. Your family and friends are your emotional anchors. They are always there when you need them. They share in your triumphs, and they bring additional joy to today's celebration. The opportunities for you to contribute to society abound. You have much to offer. The need for people with your intelligence, passion, and commitment to learning is unending. You graduate at a time when there is a divide between those who believe that globalization is a force for good and those who feel that there is reason for diminished opportunities and dashed hopes. It is a time when universities are viewed by some as part of the problem rather than a source of solutions. Some think that universities are elite institutions that are not relevant to them. We have a responsibility to change that perception. We need to do more to share our 
world of innovation and discovery, and we need to find new ways of doing this. Imperial will continue to benefit society primarily through our excellence in research and education. We will continue to work on solutions to complex, persistent problems affecting the world. Imperial will also continue to share what we do through our excellent outreach to students, our care for patients, and our public engagement. We have new opportunities to reach new neighbors around our new campus in White City, just three miles northwest of here. There we have opened the Invention Rooms, where we will bring new opportunities to share the wonder of what we do in research and education. Our maker and hack spaces in the Invention Rooms will be beacons for us to collaborate with a new community. For this, we will rely on the volunteer spirit ingrained in our staff, alumni, and students. Last year, Imperial students devoted over 25,000 hours to serve more than 150 community groups. I urge you to carry this volunteer spirit with you. Find ways to contribute to society by working with the communities where you live and work. You can provide hope and confidence to individuals who have not had the same access to a university education as you. And you will be joining 200,000 alumni who have taken their intellect and energy into communities around the world. Volunteering is a form of collaboration. Respect your neighbors, listen to them, and learn from them as you learn from your colleagues. Things we learn beyond our fields of expertise produce wisdom and creativity. Also learn from your mistakes. Dr. Dimas Hassabis, the co-founder and CEO of Google DeepMind, recently gave the Imperial Global Health Initiative lecture. He talked about the use of computers to help us to process information that is beyond our human ability. He spoke of AlphaGo, the machine that mastered the complex and intricate game of Go. Go has been played for thousands of years. It cannot be mastered with simple rules, and it requires a great deal of intuition. Computer analysis by brute force is impossible due to the 10 to the 170 possible moves. Their approach to playing Go used neural networks to allow the computer to learn from observing the moves of hundreds of amateur games. They then set the computer to play against itself millions of times using what they call reinforcement learning, that is, learning from its mistakes and improving each time. In the end, the Go community was inspired by some of the creative and new approaches AlphaGo used. Imagine that. Go masters inspired by the creativity of a computer. We humans do this too. You will learn from each risky move you make. You will learn from each error that you correct. And you will learn from each positive reinforcement you receive. You will be creative in the process, and you will inspire new ways of doing things. Never stop learning. Extend your reach. Share your knowledge. We are very proud of you, and we are excited by your future. Please keep in touch. Your achievements will inspire us and will inspire future generations of students. Congratulations. President and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Natural Sciences. The names will be announced by Professor Alan Armstrong, Head of the Department of Chemistry, Professor Anne Dell, Head of the Department of Life Sciences, Professor David Van Dyke, 
Head of the Department of Mathematics, and by Professor Kenny Weir, Acting Head of the Department of Physics. Due to the large number of graduates being presented this afternoon, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of the group. Thank you. Associates of the Royal College of Science and first degrees of the university. Bachelors of Science from the Department of Chemistry. Michelle Afonso. Matthew Blackett. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report in the Joint Honours Programme, Catherine Cannings. <laughs> Tadar Chaturvedi. Wan Ting Chow. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Paxson Cha. <laughs> Jia Yan Ching. Jack Dawson, Chuen Deng, Karen Frankland, Madi Haku, Vanessa Ho, Don Hyun, Yifan Jennifer Zhang, Kiran Pal Korkula. Philbert Chun Hei Lam. Charles Kitts. Charles Kitts. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the Joint Honours Programme, Zayn Latif. <laughs> Kian Chong Lee. Sung Ho Lee. Chao Lee. Sing Chen Li, Jamie Liang, Yifei Lao, Shi Teng Lim, Yen Sing Lin Tan, Catherine Lindekers, Shi Jia Lu, Isabella Lucas, Martin Lu. Nguyen T. by Note Nguyen. Ambika Mehta. Rahul Patel. Monish Paul Nakwal. Dwayne Pereira. Francis Pickett Plowden. Alexander Powell. Teresa Pernomo. Hassan Rafiq. Soham Santosh Salgarka. Awarded the John McCombie Memorial Prize, Catherine Saunders. <laughs> Saima Farooq Sia. Hoxham Henry Tam. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance in BSc and the HBA Br Briscoe Prize in Inorganic Chemistry, Wei Lun To. <laughs> Jiayu Weng. Grace Chen Ling Wong, Hubert Tai Yin Wong, Yi Chuang Sherry Wong, Shouting Samantha Wu, Seeing Wu, Luki Yi, Sergi Yoon, Ashley Z. Hanwen Zhang, Shijia Zhu, Chris Christoffi, Masters of Science from the Department of Chemistry, Shane Ango, Teofil Biasis, John Ballantyne, Dependa Singh Bedi, Jamie Buganor. Harshni Chandaria, Dustin Chung, Cameron Curran, Abigail De Bruin, 
Madeline Dench. Jody Denmark. Xiao Wen Dong. Sarah Zhan. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance in MSI and the Francis Micklewaite Prize, Zachary Goodwin. <laughs> Zainab Hamid. Shuang He. Jack Harrington. Yelena Hobbs. Awarded the Sir Arthur Ackland Prize for Language, Scott Hobbs. <laughs> Leo Hodges. Clara Hurst. Okena Ihechiranorma. Ndidi Awumaneni. <laughs> Ji Chung Kan. Kushal Lachani. Awarded the Evans Medal in Inorganic Chemistry and the Prize for Outstanding Overall MSI Performance, Yu Ting Francis Lam. <laughs> Aidan Langan. Kerfan Lee. Devon Legg. Jason Lee. Xiao Quan Lin. Jenny Ming Se Lu. Jacob Lucas. Rex Manurong. Azalea Mikotis. Susanna Meliso. Sasha Moore, Ariadna Cheng, awarded the Governor's Prize and the Alfred Bader Prize in Organic Chemistry, Max Moser. <laughs> awarded the prize for final year best organic research project and for outstanding overall performance in MSI, Philip Nado. <laughs> James O'Hanlon, awarded the Joachim Steinke Prize for Organic or Polymer Chemistry, Daniel O'Reilly. Alex Wu, Yingwei Yang, Shade Picard, awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for a standing overall performance in MSI, Vinyas Ramakandran. <laughs> awarded the prize for final year best physical research project, Dominic Saman. <laughs> Jack Scantlebury. Julia Schmidt, Amar Shapal, Youssef Shalan, Joshua Susha, Aditya Raymond Thawani, Julia Thomas, Rebecca Twydale, Peter Ofimkin. Xin Wang, Lillian Watson, Chantal Whitfield, Harry Wilkinson, Callum Wilson. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemistry. I invite Professor Anne Dell, Head of the Department for Life Sciences, to the lectern. Associates of the Royal College of Science and first degrees of the university, bachelors of science from the Department of Life Sciences. Asha Adi, Eleni Andreu, Maria Astrakhan, Lara Bailey, Holly Baker, Olivia Bates, Alice Bedis, Emily Bennett, awarded the Gabriel Ferres Prize and the Convenus Prize for Medical Glycobiology, Natalie Bevan. Akash Bhuttacharji, Sanjay Bhattacharya, 
William Billingsley, Arnaf Bin Arnasi, Farah Adlina Binti Hamdan, Noor Aini Habiba Binti Ruzdi, Noor Anini Binti Yuso, Jacob Birkenhead, Philip Bischoff, Penelope Blythe, Joseph Bowden, James Brakey, Laura Briggs, George Brooks, Megan Brown, awarded the Convener's Prize for Symbiosis, Plant Immunity and Disease, Maya Bruderer. <laughs> Samuel Brugan, Chloe Burnside, Daisy Burris, Francesca Butera, Emily Calamita, Kiva Canavan, Christopher Carroll, Georgina Carson, Tessa Corsiram, Hei Tung Megan Chan, Jonathan Ching Chung Chan, Nia K. Aki Chan, Kate Chandler, <laughs> Natalie Cheritakis, Zen Chen, Anthony Chi Lok Chert, Ethany Childs, Daniel Chipchase, Vanessa Wen Li Chong, Lucia Carafa. Awarded the Governor's Prize and the Convener's Prizes for Damage and Repair in Biological Systems and Systems Neuroscience, Uni Young Yoon Chung. Cool. Gabriella Clark, William Coyden, Ava Coles, Benjamin Collier, Charlie Cook, Iram Cook Money, Hazel Cooley, awarded the June Mann Memorial Prize, Emma Copland, <laughs> James Davis, Thomas Richard Davis Diaz, Ashlyn Davison, James Debney, Leo Diaz, Cameron Doughty, Florence Drury, Claire Dunican, Mark Alkawi, Dina Chukwu Iziani, Tiani Fan, awarded the Convener's Prize for Molecular Basis of Bacterial Infection, Selena Fact. Awarded the Beloff Chain Prize and the Convener's Prize for Integrative Systems Biology, Hugh Gang Fang. <laughs> Jaime Fernandez de Santayala Sanya. Chantal Fifield. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Medical Microbiology, Robert Fletcher. <laughs> Emma Flynn. Michael Forrest, G.I.E. Fu, Kieran Gallagher, Emily Garcia, Justin Gifford, Sinziana Guju, Flo Glencross. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Synthetic Biology, Sally and Go. <laughs> Henrietta Goring. Elizabeth Gray, Owen Greaves, Simon Griffith Jones, Andres Guerrero Alvarez, Ravina Kawat Guron, Emma Hadley, Mohammed Hidayat Haji Ahmad,
Thomas. Thomas Hardwick. Jake. Alex Daniels. Harriet Hardy. Jacob Harris. Robert Harris. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Cancer, Matt Harvey. <laughs> Grady Hassan. Krista Hawker. Jack Hawksley, Karis Hay, Alyssa Henderson, Morgan Haycock, Ka Chun Jonathan Ho, Chun Kei Hong, Tian Cheng Huang, Yi Chi Huang, Poppy Hughes, Yi Hui, Tobias Hurst, Sally Irwin, Fazana Islam, awarded the Convener's Prize for Neuroscience Research, May Ito, <laughs> Arian Jamaz, Pei Ying Jan, Davina Jugnarian, Zoe Jukes, awarded the Convener's Prize for Plant Biotechnology and Development, Shay Na Kam Lin. Faiza Akhtar Khan, Jennifer Kreit, We Rock Kui, Alina Kuli Liva, Kwon To Hari Kwong, Anastasia Laking, Sina Lari, Thomas Kam Shing Lao, Abigail Laverack. Awarded the Ian Clark Memorial Prize and the Convener's Prize for Advanced Topics in Immunity and Infection, CU Yin Law. <laughs> Conton Leclerc. Chu Yi Li. Ye Ji Li. Leong Jin Yi Yen. Yu Wei, Yu Wei Long. Leong. Junda Li, Claudia Liang Peng, Jia Le Lim, Lin Lin, Samantha Ling, Shen Xin Liu, Henry Lloyd Laney, Xing Him Lo, Clara Lobo. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Stem Cells Regeneration and Aging, Eloise Lockyer. <laughs> Wen Wen Lo. Zi Wei Lui. Chen Chu Liu. Hazel Sin Yu Mak. Prabhu Sashti Rajan Marimuthu. Jack Mason. Ellen Masters, Craig McAuliffe, Louis McGrath, Lauren McMillan, Thomas Mead, Julia Minini, sorry, there is a Christopher, yeah. Christopher Micklem, <laughs> Julia Minini, Adam Mills. Edge Mystery, Ayano Mizuguchi, Eleonora Morato, Ioana Morianu, Joshua Morris, Alice Motion, Carolina Mosden, Kamal Nahas, Connor Nelson. Selena Nicolio, Sabina Novakovska, Harriet Oliver, 
awarded the Convener's Prizes for Advanced Topics in Parasitology and Vector Biology and for Metabolic and Network Engineering, Nicholas Han Shen Un. <laughs> Joshua Ozeami. <laughs> Helen Pantelli. <laughs> Alice Patterson. <laughs> Carmen Gia Ern P. Dina B Binti Mohammed Sukor. Caroline Peters. Edita Peletskita. Vanessa Place. C. R. Charlotte Poon. Yu Chung Chuk. Yusef Paolo Rabia. Thomas Mead. Edric Ramirez Valdez. Emily Reed. Awarded the Forbes Memorial Medal, Marius Redman. Edward Rees. Lilith Rees. Edward Zheng Yi Ren. Callum Richards. Re Rebecca Rickman. Jonathan Risley, Ellie Roberts, Samuel Robinson, Elizabeth Rowe, Axel Roys, Zaira Robani, Tariq Salome, Elena Sanders, Giorgio Santis. Udita Satija, awarded the James Prize of the New Phytological Trust, Zachary Savage. <laughs> Solveig Schlumberger, May Simakula Buza, Benjamin Sharpless, Rachel Shedd, Zoe Shawak. Awarded the Murray Prize in Physiology, Jana Sipkova. <laughs> Benjamin Skiro. Maria Nefali Skufu Papuzaki. Pauline Schmiel. Pauline Schmiel, sorry. Laura Smith. Visaya Sorsoditikan. Diana Spasinoska. Zina Ida Stead, Morgan Stiles, Christopher Stocky, awarded the Laurent Bonomo Prize, Sean Stockton, <laughs> Paisan Sukpanit, Yanisa Supenwanich, Mian Hilary Tan. Awarded the Howarth Prize, Nicholas Tan O Miao. <laughs> Awarded the Osmani Prize in Biotechnology and the Convener's Prize for Biotechnology Applications of Proteins, Wee Ki Tiu. <laughs> Celia Tinsley. <laughs> Tin Chak Sang. Eden Turner. Awarded the Business School Prize for the Best Group Report on the Joint Honours Programme, Sneha Vashani. <laughs> Galga Wang, Madeline Webb. Awarded the Governor's Prize and the Convener's Prizes for Global Change Biology and Biodiversity and Conservation Biology, Klaas Vetterbeer. <laughs> Amy Whistlecroft, Ellen Williams. Hugh Williams, Florentina Winkleman, Sin Ting Angel Wong, Jia Zheng Wu, Emily Woodfield, Kai Ye, Ye Xing Da, Wen Yin, Yeo Jin Yoon, Chin Yung Isabel Yu, Tobias Zach. Xiang Yu Zhang, Shi Zong, Ale 
Victoria Norton. David Todd Jones. Sophie Johnston. Vasily Shenshin. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Life Sciences. I invite Professor David Van Dyke, Head of the Department of Mathematics, to the lectern. Associates of the Royal College of Science and first degrees of the university, bachelors of science from the Department of Mathematics. Marvin Allender, Saeed Ali, Ting Wei Terence Au, Caliph Imin Bin Razman, Federico Bongiorno, okay. Valentin Breyes, Connor Brown, Alexander Joseph Cargill, Pei Shen Chang, Lu Yao Chen, Jing Ya Chen, Yao Ming Benson Chen, Chuk Ying Choi, Alexander Davis, Alexandra de Saint Germain, Nikita Dave Taken, Marlene Distia, Matilda Marie Devenji, Thomas Emery. Regine Fan, Chen Hao Fang, yep. Orlini An Louis Favre, Russell Fu Chun Wen, Thomas David Loyal George, uh, Evgenia Gleiser, Anne D. Gong. William Robert Gray, Angelica Grusovin, Zhang Gu, Siraj Bipin Harani, Ji Hao Hu, Kaifi Hu, Nasim Iklef, Ka Chun Ip. Yai Wu Jang, Vicky Jean Ji, Han Yu Jang, Yan Zhu Jang, Yi Zhu, Ryan Jude, Ilani Maria Karati, Marata Agniska Koshichilak, Chun Kit Law, Si Feng Law, Ha Yun Li, Jai Bin Li, Wai Yi Samantha Li, Yuri Li, Kit Wan Andy Young, Axel Layson, Justin Chun Yin Li, Yu Ling Yi, Eduardo Lisi, Quan Yen Liu, Nan Liu, James Loventhal, Hung Lao, awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Vendelin Lutz, <laughs> Thomas John Maven, Georgios Mavroy Kalmus, Oliver Patrick Edward McGrath, Jonathan Wee In Mai, Yon Meng, Ashman Misra, Anna Mitnikova, awarded the IBM Prize for Pure Mathematics, Juan Alvaro Munoz Eshanis, Milian Neyi, Emma Louise Neal, 
awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Dennis Nesteroff. <laughs> Chu Hao Ing. Hector Paupaulius. Palau Parlopiano. Aaron Patel. Kiran Bakul Patel. Charlotte Louise Pickering. Leon Plauviez. Charles Alexander Powell. Chuck Nia Janice Pun. Yu Ching Kwan. Putri Sophia Katrina Rusli. Sebastian Herandia. Jack Connor Scott. Cavell Shalis Shah. Ronick Shah. Chen Deng Sia. Matthias Stanisvesky. Awarded the Hyman Levy Memorial Prize, Moshi Zalman Steinberg. <laughs> du Sun. Ming Long Sun. Jin Sun. Wee Sang Tan. Ting Fan Tsai. Ka Xing Jason Tse. Roshi Wang. Aaron Van Williams. Eleanor Catherine Grace Wilson. Di Wu. Estafius Philippos Janelis. Uh, Yi Zhao. Ji Min Eric Hugo Yap. Han Wao Young. Zhou Young. Chang Min Yu. Lan Yi. Yu. Sorry. Jin Shao Zhang. Cynthia Zhang. Fan Wei Zhang. Si Kun Zhang. Gi Zha Zhang, Ming Han Zhang, Zhao Han Zhang, Zimu Zhao, Yu Zhang, Si Hao Zhao, Wen Hua Zhao, Yang Guao Hua Zhao, Yi Zhao Zhao, Anthony Jones. Scott Sperling, Raymond Ding, Han Naha Lee, Joseph Vargas, Yu Chi Chung, the Masters of Science from the Department of Mathematics, Roy Sebastian Morton Ansley, Paul Alexander, Peter David Balsden, Yadu Raj Bagaria, Giacomo Isaac Bocchini Gilroy awarded the Landswear Menza Award, Assad Hussein Chowdhury, <laughs> Abney Salis Chowte, Oscar Tian Long Chung, Ai Zhang Dai, Jacob Deasy, William Downham. Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Bradley Roaline Doyle. <laughs> Luca Dragovich. Jing Young Fang. James Forrester. <laughs> Matthew Gila. James Michael Gosling. Usman, I'm sorry, Usman Islam. Shithal Jithwa. Awarded the Chris Champion Prize, Eleanor Catherine Johnston. Cindy Kim Lin Lam. Tai Yin Liang. Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Chaiti Rapavai Mamalan. Mateo Masumuro. The Tensor Society Mathematics Prize, Lina Mine. Arena Morariu, David Ross Nielsen Scott, Constantinos Niktalis, Sanjay Patel, Michael Redman, 
awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Elizabeth Riddle Workman, Christopher Salvi, Eric Shariani, Vinoya Veluyuthan, Anran Wong, awarded the Derek Moore Memorial Prize, Max Wilden, awarded the Governor's Prize, Jeremy Shang Heem Wu, Ying Hua Jung. That concludes the graduates of the Department of Mathematics. I invite Professor Ken Weir, acting head of, uh, acting head of the Department of Physics, to the lectern. Associates of the Royal College of Science and First Degrees of the University, Bachelors of Science from the Department of Physics, Daryl Adji, Tala Ahmed, Lawrence Ajadi, Miriam Verbusha, Roman Bettinelli, Nicholas Bradley, <laughs> Permacom Chai Panichkul, Adam Chalabi, Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Tho Gerald Cham. <laughs> Chun Kit Chan, Bing Shen Chang, Wing Lung Chung, Harry Cho Han, Peter Cowburn, Jonathan Davis, Ben Elliott, Lubia Diviniskia, Ben Elliott, Jake Flowerdew. Jun Yu Gao, Andreas Georgiakakis, William Goldberg, Vivian Hadlow, Darvilla Hines, Xin Yu Jai, Sukinder Kurai, Thomas King, Pavel Krupa, James Lee, Kai Hong Lee, Weng Wang Lee, Yi Chen Liu, Min Tuao Lu, Archie Leon, Don Yuk Yu Ma, Andrew Miller, Constantina Nicolaou, Daniel Odi, Christopher Page, Rachel Pali, Ashish Panchasara, Rosemary Pickering, Ahmed Raja, Joshua Rankin, James Rice, Miras Rustomji, Oliver Ryan, Isaac Scott, Kuran Seti. Lei Yang Sim, Petros Soares, Aisha Ima Soli, Benedict Stephen Simonacci. James Diamond, Arvin Subramaniam, Priyaka Sukamaranam, Huen Sun, Neil Talwa, Wai Yan Tan, awarded the Governor's Prize and the Malcolm Hind Prize in Plasma Physics, Yek Tang, <laughs> Daniel Tata, Alice Thorpe, Abhinav Varma, Maria Varel Garcia, awarded the Tesla Prize for Software, Kwok Ho Wan. <laughs> Richard Chin Wan, Ji Yu Wang, Wendy Wang, Oliver Waterman, Keanu Khan, awarded the Ogden Prize for Excellence in Communicating Physics, Catherine Wiggins. Benjamin Williams, Justin Wang, sorry, Justin Wong, sorry, Zi uh, Xu Xuang, Ian Yuang, Zeshan Jin, Yang Yu Zong, Niang Chang, Stephen Papaloizu. Jacob Porter, 
Natasha Wright. Masters of Science from the Department of Physics, Sophie Albosch, Nikita Amund, Thomas Andrade Brown, Michael Backhouse, Yanani Balaskandan, Sara Bartolucci, awarded the Abdus Salam Undergraduate Prize and the Governor's Prize, Adrian Bayer. <laughs> Srishti Bashin, Henry Bouvier, Connor Bradley, Mendel Brower, Henry Brown, David Bruton, Jeremy Carter, Anita Chandran, James Chappelle, Xuan Chen, William Cheng, Victoria Kherkas, Matthew Cheng, Alexander Clayton, Laura Clinton, Carrie Colgan, Sam Collingborn, Camilla Compton, Connor Darling, Adam DeBell, Damien Demodula, Callum Deakin, Anurag Veshtapan, Apurva Veshpanande, sorry. Matthew Dodd, Michael Doherty, Ryan Juice, Joseph Dunn, Joseph Dernan, Ranabir Dutta, Joel Dyer, Richard Eames, Stephen Ebenezer, Max Falkenberg McGillivary, Anthony Fleming, Charles Fletcher, Stephanie Ford, Matti Gaggi, Stefano Galimberti, Jack Griffiths, Patrick Gubaljak, Noemi Giori, Arish Hashashmi, awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Faye Havelock, <laughs> Oliver Hines, Timothy Holmes, Charlie Hoy, Julian Jacopini, Lloyd James, William Jones, Paul George, Ademulia Katiyasa, awarded the Ludlum Prize, Alina Malevskaya, <laughs> Shun Kobayashi, Arun Kumar, Harshan Lal, Deep Lal, Eduardo La Quintana, Tristan Lawrence, Jonathan Lightley, Kayam Lin, Matthew McWilliam, awarded the David Smith Prize in Medical Imaging, Stephanie Miller, <laughs> Charles Millard, Nikesh Mystery, Luke Mosley, Hassan Muhammad, Tatsuyu Natsuki, Oliver Norman, Joshua Lee O'Donnell, Christian Ormondy, Mohammed Osman, Lucy Ottenslegrova, Thomas Penny, Thina Aravinda Pereira, Alberto Perez Robelledo, awarded the CMS Prize for Particle Physics, Marcus Pernov, <laughs> Jake Phillips, Alexander Pixley, Dominic Price, Matthew Proctor, Mikhail Raccio, Stephanie Richardson, Thomas Roberts, Daniel Russell, Manbir Sahota, Isabel Seabrook, Gavin Sigulam, Paul Secular, Gavin Segulam. Peter Sherman, Jia Sim, Alexander Spann, Sebastian Spence, Thomas Stokes, awarded the Tyndall Prize, Joseph Strong, <laughs> Jacob Swombo, Zolt Zabo, 
Rosemary Teague, Fiona Townsend. Now. Awarded the Calendar Prize, James Tail. Fiona Townsend, James Turrell, Jay Upal, Alexander Vanston, Monish Fasantri, Alvise Vianello, Genzi Wang, Emma Watson, Bruce Weaver, Christopher Whitehouse, James Wilkinson, Lucy Willits White, Awarded the Tesla Prize for Software, Luke Williams. <laughs> Suki Wang. Christopher Worsfold. Yun Yo Xia. Yesen Yu. Tigani Zaruk. Wenmin Yao. Aidan Boxel. Eden Castro Gavira. <laughs> President Provost Chair, that now concludes the graduates from the Faculty of Natural Sciences.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's my very great pleasure to invite Dr. Kerry O'Donnelly Weaver to the lectern to give the congratulatory address to the graduating class. Hello, graduates, and to your family and friends. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of such a special day. I am honestly, truly honoured and incredibly humbled to have been asked to make this year's congratulatory speech. I guess maybe one of the reasons that I was asked here is because it's only been seven years since I sat where you're sitting now. And quickly, the feelings of what you must have went through over the past few months have just come flooding back from my own experiences, from the sleepless nights of those dreaded exams, to the nerves of waiting for the results, and the equal parts excitement slash total fear of what did I do now? <laughs> um, I remember it all too well. But that's why you're here today, because you have achieved something truly amazing. And I congratulate every single one of you, because this is an incredibly happy and proud day for you and for your families. And, I've, and it is with no word of a lie that I say this is just the beginning of an incredible and exciting journey for you all. So perhaps most of you already know what you want to do next. It took me some time to decide that, and it's okay if it takes you the same amount. I knew that I had a love for science and that I wanted to impact, make an impact on the world. So I accepted a PhD position here at Imperial. And I vividly remember at that time in my life, much as a similar time that you're, you're at now, as many people, I heard many inspirational speeches and many people tell me that you cannot fully reach your full potential unless you have passion and you have drive. And yeah, of course, I absolutely believe that. Passion is so important. But I only agreed to a point, and let me quickly explain why. <laughs> that may be controversial. But no matter how passionate you are, or how intelligent you are, and you're all intelligent because you're here today, and no matter how much drive you have, sometimes in life, you will, in life, you will face a setback. And that happened to me. I'm quite I'm a private person by nature, but I'm gonna share something personal with you and hope that it might resonate with some of you. I lost, completely lost my passion for science in the first year of my PhD. And that was because my mum at the time was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And I just wanted to pack my bags up, go home to Scotland and be with my family. But my mum would not let me. She was sat me down quite, <laughs> quite the thing and said, nope, if I'm not giving up, then you're not allowed to give up either. And for me, and I hope for you, that is an incredibly valuable lesson in life, is that we'll all face setbacks, but please do not quit because it's not those setbacks in life that will define you, it's how you overcome those challenges and the lessons that you will learn in the process of overcoming them. And for me, that is truly the lessons in life that will really help you reach your full potential alongside your passion and alongside your drive. So for me, I carried on with my PhD with a really fresh outlook and I worked very, very hard and I accomplished my goal. And that leads me to another piece of advice that I once received from my PhD supervisor. And that was so important to me, and I think it's gonna be really important to you at this time in your career. And that is, please be brave, have a go, and by default, just say yes to exciting opportunities. You never know where they're going to lead. Every single positive career move that I have made in my life so far is by putting myself way outside my comfort zone. And I said yes to challenges that a lot of the time I wasn't necessarily ready for, but I'm so glad that I did that. And I urge you all to do the same. I would not be in the position that I am in today where I feel incredibly lucky to have been able to co-found and run my own company now. And that would not have happened if I did not say yes to the opportunities that were presented to me. So please say yes. So I'm going to finish this speech by just once again congratulating all of you. This is an amazing achievement. Please do not take it lightly. I have no doubt that every single one of you will go on to make a huge impact on the world. Please do. And do you know what? 
you really can truly do anything you set your mind to. You know that. Just be brave enough to go after it. And please don't give up if you do face challenging times. So it's with that that I wish you all a very happy and successful career and, of course, life. And please enjoy your celebrations today. You totally and utterly deserve it. Thank you so much. What a wonderful speech. Thank you so much, Carrie. That was really amazing. And it's now my honor to read the citation for Dr. Elizabeth Hawke for outstanding contribution to teaching excellence. You can stay here. Great. Dr. Elizabeth Hawke is an inspiring colleague who has brought fresh and innovative ideas about teaching and student engagement to Imperial. She is a key member of the Imperial Horizons team and is regarded as a gifted and enthusiastic educator who puts the students' needs first. She's a wonderful ambassador for the college too and has a growing reputation for her expertise in interdisciplinary teaching and learning. Dr. Hawk is an exemplary teacher, dedicated, original, and an expert in her field. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Elizabeth Hawk the President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence. I'd now like to read the citation for Mrs. Kate Ippolito. Would you come forward, please? For President's Medal for Supporting the Student Experience. Mrs. Kate Ippolito joined the Educational Development Unit at Imperial in 2013, and since then has built a reputation as a talented and respected educationalist. Highly regarded for her student-centered approach, to teaching, she has been crucial in establishing team-based learning methodology across the college and has provided valuable support to help staff adopt the approach in their teaching through practical experiential training. Mrs. Apolito has devised and delivered a range of excellent teaching that has a huge impact, inspiring those who teach and support learning across college. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Mrs. Kate Apolito the President's Medal for supporting the student experience. And that now concludes the award of the President's Medals. I invite the Dean of the Faculty of Natural Sciences, Professor Tom Welton, to the lectern. Thank you, Simone. Dave? <laughs> you ready? Right. In his role as the Chief Teaching Technician and Safety Officer in the Department of Life Sciences, Mr. David Featherby has enhanced the experience of many students. He is always on hand during challenging experiments and offers help and support in designing new practicals, providing innovative solutions to ensure that students are exposed to relevant experimental techniques. His involvement in summer schools for the sixth form students means that his impact reaches well beyond the college, encouraging a new generation of students to consider science. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Mr. David Featherby an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the considerable contribution that he has made to the life and work of Imperial College.
President, members of court and council, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. When I was appointed chair of council of Imperial College, I became the first chair to have also been an alumni of the college, the alumnus of the college. So although it was a long time ago, I know what it feels like to cross this stage as a graduating student, as those of you have today, with my proud family sitting in the audience, as many of yours are today. Whatever measure you go by, Imperial College is a very special place indeed. The Times Education uh, measure puts us at third highest in Europe and eighth highest in the world. Other measures vary, but in almost all of them, we're in the top handful of places here and across the world. Only around 7% of the total world population hold a degree at all, let alone a qualification from a top university. So you are very special, privileged people, and you should remember that. I see today not as the end of a journey, but as the beginning of a new chapter. Each one of you will see many opportunities to come, and I wish you much success in harnessing all of them. Now, it's my responsibility to bring these proceedings to a close, but before doing so, I'd like you to join me in thanking those responsible for the success of today's ceremony. So firstly, without trying to single out anyone in particular, please join me in thanking all of those who've worked so hard behind the scenes to plan and organize today's ceremony. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to thank Richard Dickens, Colin Durant, the, the, uh, the student choir, and the musicians that have performed throughout the ceremony. Thank you very much. And it's, of course, it's your day and your achievement, but sitting behind me is an array of people who've helped and guided you, and they've been joined by a great many of others from, the, from Imperial, professors and lecturers, technicians and support staff, all of whom have helped you over the last few years. So I'd ask you to thank all of your professors and teachers and the other staff at Imperial that have helped you. And then, of course, there's, there's you, our new graduates. About a third of you here right now, but altogether 2,536 have crossed the stage today. It's a lot of handshakes. It's, it's your drive and enthusiasm that makes Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. So we want to thank you, the graduates, and celebrate your achievement. Well done. And although this is the end of the ceremony, it's not farewell. You join me and many others worldwide in a network of Imperial alumni. We'll be here for you and we'll be pleased to help you. And I dare say at some point in the future, some of you will help us too. We're proud of what you've achieved and we'll be proud of what you go on to achieve. So please do stay in touch with members of the Imperial family. Now, there's been plenty of enthusiastic applause, but of course the Royal Albert Hall has seen much more noise than has so far occurred here. So I would welcome all of you, you graduates, to thank your most important supporters, your partners, your mothers, your fathers, brothers, sisters, friends and children who have been with you and for you when you've needed them most. So I'd like you please to stand, face your personal fan club and say thank you to them. <laughs> 